Georgian novel is written by Veronica Roth. Hi, my name is Sammy Martinez, and that this is a book I'll be doing a trailer on. The setting takes place in a futuristic Chicago, a city enclosed with chain link fence, where a society is separated into five factions. Abnegation for the selfless, candor for the honest, amity for the peaceful, dauntless for the brave, and erudite for the knowledgeable. I have read the Hunger Games series, and this part does sound very close to, to, to the Suzanne Collins series. Luckily, this is where the plot lines differ, and the society that Roth creates is new and fascinating. When the story begins, the faction world has seen years of peace. Everything seems to be well, but the feeling is uneasy. There is nothing obvious to suggest that change or danger is approaching, however the tone is not light or calm. The society seeks to ensure that war never returns by dividing into five factions of personality types. Everyone, when they turn 16, must choose a new faction, or they can stay in the one they have been raised in. The main character, Beatrice Pryor, is a strong-minded 16-year-old girl who lives in a futuristic society. Her current faction is abnegation. In Chapter 2, both Beatrice and her brother Caleb must take the aptitude test. Luckily, she is given a vial of liquid to drink and the electrodes connected to a computer are attached to her and the test administrator. This connects them to a simulation. The simulation delivers a series of situations which the administrator m must supervise. One single faction is left as a result. In chapter three, we find out that there is, her results are inconclusive. She is considered a divergent. Prior to the choosing ceremony in chapter four, Caleb tells Beatrice they must think of themselves and their family. So, when the choosing day arrives, in chapter 5, Caleb chooses Eurydite, and at that point, Beatrice knows that Caleb was taking his own advice. It was her turn to choose when she takes the knife and cuts her hand. The blood spills on the coals. She has chosen Dauntless. Beatrice's character changes more as she starts to realize her true identity. She has to be brave leaving her faction and switching to Dauntless. The first sign that she made, this is the first sign that she made the right decision. Still, she has still more to prove as the story moves on. She had, she jumps onto the train, jumps onto the building, and jumps off the building first, which is her shows her determination and bravery. She is showing them she is someone to look out for. Beatrice changes her name to Tris because she feels it will permit her to start over and become someone else completely. Initiation and Dauntless faction involves three stages. Only the top ten initiates will become Dauntless members. The rest will fall out and become factionless. As stages two and three of initiation commence, Tris be be begins to come into her own Dauntless. She goes, first, she goes ziplining down the Hancock building with the Dauntless born initiates, which shows extreme proficiency in fear simulation, and at stage two, she is ranked number one. The novel mixes science fiction and futuristic settings and romance in action. In chapters 33 and 35 is where the real drama between the factions' tensions reveal and all the Eurydice's animosity for abnegation finally results in the initial stages of war. From this point forward, the novel is quickly reaches its conclusion and the result could end up being many different things. I would absolutely suggest reading this novel to anyone. There are some things I really like about this book. First, it's a very quick read, and second, at 500 pages. Second, this is the first female-centered futuristic novel that I have read that does not revolve around a futuristic love story or anything else. The plot doesn't revolve. The third, the ending is adequate enough that it could be a standalone book, which I really like about that. The novel is jam-packed with plot twists and unexpected changes, and the mind-blowing conclusion had me on the edge of my seat. Thank you for your time, and this is my trailer.